Hey, this is Benji Rogers, co-founder of the Dot Blockchain Music Project and Pledge Music, and you're watching Bridge the Atlantic. Hey, how's it going? For Bridge the Atlantic, I'm singer-songwriter Marcin Novelli from Canada. And I'm music web designer Ross Barber Smith from Scotland. And you're watching Encore, a show featuring advice for musicians from the industry's finest. If you're new here, subscribe. Today we're joined by entrepreneur, technologist, musician, and the founder of Pledge Music, Benji Rogers, out of Brooklyn, New York. 99% of people don't follow their dreams or do what they want to do with their life. Okay. They're basically, they're, they're going to go for a safe thing. They're going to go for whatever it is. And that, and I don't judge that, but that's the truth. If you started off when you were a little boy or a little girl saying, I want to be this, I want to be this. How many actually do that? Right? Because in the end life gets in the way. So when you did guitar lessons, when you were young or you you're learning to DJ, but you haven't got the courage to kind of go do it. Right. When you look at someone who does it, who puts themselves out there, who takes the risk, it, it, you live vicariously through that. And what I think happens with these super fans, these guys and girls, and I've met thousands of them over the years, they want so very badly to be a part of it. And they feel that by supporting you in some way, you're bringing something to them. And what was really interesting was there was a, a young lady that I met, um, really smart lady, and I said to her, and she said to me, I've pledged on like 50 campaigns. And she showed me. And I was like, this is amazing. I said, are you a musician? She's like, well, I'm learning guitar, but I'm not very good. Um, and I'm an accountant. And I, this is how I make my living. And I said, oh, you know, cool. Like, you know, my accountant saves my life all the time. So, you know. And, and I, <laughs> um, and, but, but she said to me, every day, one of the people that, that I've pledged on sends me an update from their world in the studio, from their world on the stage, and I'm transported all over the world through their experiences, and it comes to my inbox. So she said, and I said to her, what's that worth to you? And she said, it's everything. And now she's learning guitar. She's, she's kind of following it. She's met a bunch of the musicians that, she, that she, she pledged on. So don't ever think that people aren't interested because they're not listening to you on Spotify or, or on Tidal or on, or on iTunes or SoundCloud, they've got 150 million things to listen to on those platforms and 5 billion YouTube videos to watch. But the one that comes from you that shows your neck stuck out that little bit further than you normally would, that's what's important to them. And remember, this is a hyper ultra personal thing. Yes, you, you know, if, if you want to sell potato chips and you want to sell like, you know, clothing and all that stuff, that, that's a different business. What I'm talking about is, is the actual direct to fan mechanic is simply this. I admire what you're doing. I want to be involved. My only way of showing that involvement is by showing up at your show or supporting you. If you don't let me, my only option is to go to a mass platform and be one of the millions there that you are never going to be able to see or participate or, or, or interact with. So, and look, this is real money. Um, we did a study with Nielsen in 2013 to 14, and we identified $2.6 billion left on the table every year because music fans simply couldn't buy what they wanted. And that's just the U.S. Add in Japan, call it 2.4. Add in Germany and Europe, you're talking six, seven, eight billion dollars in literally a fan saying, I want to spend more. And the music industry is saying, great, go to Spotify, subscribe to Apple Music. Don't spend okay. any money. <laughs> so instead Don't of actually help the artist. Have 10 spread across every artist in the fucking planet. Like, it's not a logical thing. But that's what, remember, an artist's job is not to sell to millions of people. It's to sell every one of those people that really want to be there. And you talk to anyone who's ever seen a Bruce Springsteen gig or a great artist perform, and they'll say the same thing. It felt like he or she was singing to me. And that's what we can do. The internet has allowed that to happen. This is the most exciting fucking time to be a DJ, to be a creator, to be an artist, a performer, a musician, because the walls have broken down. With the technology that is allowing us to speak from three different places in the world, you can do a gig, right? And you can share that with people globally around the world. Why the fuck do we limit our tickets to just the people in the room? Think of the insanity of that. This room holds 100 people. I have fans. I have 5,000 fans all over the world, and I'm only going to share it with this 100 people. Why can't they buy a ticket afterwards? Why can't they watch a stream of it? You know, so these walls will be broken down by 
and the cool part is musicians are entrepreneurs. Musicians are the ones that use that creative part of their brain to think outside of the box. So we must never limit ourselves to the physical space that we're in. VR and AR are going to change all that. And at the same time, what I say to artists all the time, don't get bogged down in the technology, but spend 10% of that creative brain thinking, how can I best get my music to people? Not how can I get my music to the most people, how can I best get it to them? Because that little tiny bit of effort shows up on the bottom line. We hope you enjoyed this Encore episode. For more from British Atlantic, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you want to pick up one of our shirts, visit our website and use the coupon code BTA Rocks to receive 20% off your order. This episode was brought to you by Social Surge, your source for social media marketing and online music promotion. Check them out because they do our Ross. They keep the show alive. And if you would like to sponsor the show and become an official bridger, join us on Patreon from as little as a dollar per month. Not only will you be able to showcase your band or brand to our amazing audience, but your support will allow us to keep bringing you weekly videos here at Bridge the Atlantic. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.